How are you feeling? Better. You look better. Yeah, well, shaving a shower helps. My neck and my ankle, though, are still bothering me, Doctor. I called that in. We're getting it taken care of. I have your medications here. A lot of pills. Am I uh, that far gone? I've seen worse. Okay. How long before these start to take effect? Really depends. Everybody's different. You might not even notice anything. What about side effects? Nausea, dizziness, headache. Sometimes death. Look, if you need anything, if you have any problems, just call the orderlies. Hey, Doc. Yeah? Thanks for helping me. Just doing my job. Come in. I need to talk to you. What's going on, Doc? The results from your examination with Dr. Cantor. Yeah? The results show that you have some kind of metallic object in your neck and in your ankle. How they got there, nobody knows. With you not having your memory, it's really hard to tell. Really? Doctor feels we should have them removed. Surgery? Pretty simple, really. They Take them out under local anesthetic, sew you back up, you're done. This is the consent form. Sign in if you decide to have the surgery. Yeah, this is Dr. Kessler. Uh-huh. Yeah, hang on. Um, sign the form if you want to have the surgery, and I'll be back later. Yeah? Sign on the dotted line. I would like a videotape of that, Doctor. Sure. You're free to go. That's it? We're finished? We're done, Dr. Kessler. I'll have someone return you to your vehicle. You've been most cooperative. <clears throat> Saigon, Moyan. What does that mean? It means to go in peace. I'll try to do that. Now what? Uh, I don't know. Well, it seems to me like you should get as far away from here as possible. <laughs> yeah, well, you got that right. I've got some money I can give you. <sighs> How much? Now what? I believe he's protecting Jack. No shit. I don't have to be an intuitive to figure that out. Do you doubt my abilities, Agent Fulton? Is that some kind of weird Darth Vader threat? Because you don't have those kind of powers. Regardless of what you think of me, Agent Fulton, I'm the only one who has an empathetic bond with Jack. Well, if you have such a strong bond with the little freak, why can't you find him? My sight has been hindered as of lately. Really? Maybe it's because you have a bandage over one eye and you spit when you speak. 
maybe we could blame El Nino, or maybe there's a tremor in the force, I don't know. How witty and dramatic, Agent Fulton. Yeah, well, nonetheless, I have people to answer to. I answer to the very same people. Well, they can't fire you, and this isn't what I signed on for. Stop calling me. I'm turning this thing off. I'm drunk. You cannot reach me. I get nothing. Hello? 
better not be some kind of fucking joke. So glad you can make it, Agent Fulton. Where's everyone at? I killed him. So you're the guy who spends all your time watching me. What kind of shit job does that have to be? How do you know that? Oh, I know a lot of things about you, Franklin. You know my first name? Well, you know, guys like you, you're easy to figure out. You can't be too bright working for the government. Sounds like you've done your homework. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you any more to say before I kick your ass? Nah, I've said everything I need to say. years in collegiate boxing, four years at Chung Ho's Kung Fu on Wall Street, ongoing subscription to Black Belt and Inside Kung Fu, this, this guy's going down, yeah he's definitely, definitely going down. Yeah, well, you don't get a lot of cardio sitting around 18 hours a day in a surveillance van, do you? Look a little thick around the waist. Really? Oh, and you're freak ass around all the time. Don't sit down to a lot of nice meals. Drive through, drive through. <laughs> that didn't hurt. Huh? That was a good punch, but uh, no real pile. something very important that I had been fighting myself the whole time.